what's up guys hey, I just wanted to show y'all uh, something else I'm working on um, here you go this is the beginning stages of what I'm going to build can you guess anyways this is the beginning of stages I'm going to build a toe pincher coffin I've got it kind of nailed down right now but um, I got a phone call. Somebody was asking if I could build a toe pincher coffin. So uh, I want to try my luck at it. <laughs> See what I can do. And I'll show you uh, the progress. Well, I got my head back, my werewolf head back from Kyle from Utre Studios, Kyle Moncrief. Y'all need to go check him out. His YouTube page, Utre Studios. O U T R E Studios or Kyle Moncrief. Um, I got my wolf back. He repainted it, fixed a big old open gash that was up here. I mean, it's like the pipe was actually sticking out of its head. Um, it looked pretty cool, but I just didn't want it like that. So uh, Kyle uh, fixed it up for me and uh, repainted it. It looks really good. Um, I'm very pleased with it. As you can see. <laughs> I don't know. I think it looks freaking awesome. Hopefully y'all like it too. But put all the details back in it and all that. But uh. I got it mounted and everything. So it ain't going to happen no more. Um, let's put some air to it and, uh, see what it looks like coming at you. Let's see what it looks like. I still don't have my valve hooked up or anything, so I'm just doing the typical little air hose. But let's see what it does. seen it so uh tell me if you like it or not uh got to get busy on some other stuff also uh i went on ahead and done my um my coffin uh, it's not 100 percent finished but i just threw this thing together in just a couple hours um uh, it's just to basically fill the void spot and what we need it as um I learned that over at the Powers Pavilion in Noonan, they have a, uh, um, basically a, a pre-dug graveyard that's about a foot deep, so they wanted to see if I could add something to it. Um, they actually had some, uh, some actor in it, supposedly last year or something like that, and I don't know, from my understanding, from the way I take it, the way how... The guys were talking, they wasn't 100% satisfied with uh, the way how the turnout was with it. So they asked if I could do something, put something in it. So I figured, coffin, let's go for it. So uh, let me go get the coffin. I'll bring it in, let you look at it. Tell me what you think about it too. All right, here's the uh, toe pincher coffin that I did. I kind of just threw it together right quick. Um... It's about almost six foot tall. It's just a little shy. Uh, I can't get back far enough to really see it. Here, let me, I'm gonna flip my camera. Everybody turn their head. 
<laughs> but uh yeah I'm, i can't get back far enough but anyways a little toe pincher coffin again i use my old fence boards that i get try to get that authentic look and use the uh timber <laughs> um use like the old nails that uh that were in the wood try to give it that rusty look you know so but anyways that's the toe pincher coffin it won't stay up now What's up guys another update man i'm just trying to keep y'all informed so uh y'all don't think i'm just up and gave up on halloween or anything you know that's not what i'm doing <laughs> trying to get everything ready for uh it's uh thursday now so i'm trying to get everything ready for the powers festival in noonan georgia um kind of like a make and take or maker's fair kind of like what uh don and mary is doing with uh goth gloom Speaking of Don and Mary with Goth Gloom, uh, they sent me something that I had asked for very politely. <laughs> um, I needed a headstone that was a certain size, um, at least a certain size. So um, I just didn't have time to make one. And plus, I'm not good at making them. I made some, but they ain't all that great. Don and Mary, Mary, uh, Powell, Goth Gloom or spook house she's she knows how to make some headstones so uh they sent me one i got it in the mail it actually came yesterday but uh i didn't get home till like nine o'clock at night so it was just too late for me to open it up and look at it but uh, as soon as i got home today i looked at it and uh put it up against what i'm going to put it with and uh there you go. Also, uh, I was going to show you, I've also been working on these stands um, for the masks for Kyle Moncrief, Utre Studios. Y'all go check him out if y'all have not checked him out. Um, he does uh, mask repair, new mask, uh, repaints, whatever you need him to do. But anyways, uh, at the Maker's Fair, um, he's taking a bunch of his masks, so I made him some stands that actually hold uh, 17 heads or 17 masks times two. And plus, we had something at Transworld that we had some masks on too. So, um, if you have any masks and you want to learn how to keep them from just throwing them in a box and they get ruined, this right here is pretty simple to do. Um, is basically a four by four and drill your holes run your PVC pipe through it all the way through it bend it up you know 90 it with a good old heat gun if you can get you some mannequin heads great we've gotten lucky and got with a bunch of beautician schools around the Atlanta area and we have luckily succeeded to get enough heads <laughs> uh, for a uh, the Maker's Fair. I think we we needed like around 60, I think. So I think we're okay on the heads. The mannequin heads. We're still going to try to get what we can because they work great for props too. You can zombie them out and so forth. Uh, but anyways, um, for anybody that's got a collection of masks or anything, an easy way of doing it, like I said, get a 4x4. This is roughly 5 foot, right at 6 foot. I'm sorry. 6 foot. Then I got me a base, just basically screwed it onto the bottom of it, self-drilled them, screwed onto the bottom, and you have a freestanding base that you could put at least 17 heads on, or 17 masks. Um, if you don't have the mannequin heads like this, you can get the styrofoam heads. Um, Christy Noble sent me a leak with some styrofoam heads. I ordered them. They just ain't came in yet. Um, they'll probably come in in the next week or so. They're from China. And of course, they're on back order. I asked them about uh, how they on back order. I thought that's where they made them at. <laughs> but go take it. Um, 
Also, I was going to show you, Kyle painted her up for me. Some of y'all guys might remember her on SOP. Let me try to get her back here. Crap. Here we go. On SOP one night, Shadow of Palms, we were doing electronic, trying to build the circuit boards. Well, I suck at circuit boards that I found out. And one day while everybody else was doing circuit boards, I tried my my uh, latex and cotton <laughs> deal. So uh, I done it up one day, and it was behind me forever um, on SOP. But uh, I had Kyle throw a shirt on it and bloody it up, um, made some teeth. Some pretty cool looking teeth, gnarly looking teeth. Um, he painted it up, put some good old maggots on it, busted her head open some, put some hair on her, of course, and uh, gave her some boobies, but uh, <laughs> gave her some boobies, but they're all ate up. Um, sorry, uh, this ain't no X-rated show. Um, made some hands for her. I do have to come back and bend here. I got to cut this and bend it. She's actually going to be behind my gravestone um, that Don and Mary gave me. Um, let me get the gravestone right quick. But she will be trying to uh, kind of like hugging it almost. See if I can get back far enough. I got too much crap in here. And then she's going to pop up. She's going to pop up behind the tombstone. So that's my plans for her. Oh, Timber. Try to pull a Troy with Hellmouth. But um. anyways, Don and Mary, if you're watching this, thank you so very much for the tombstone, headstone, whatever you want to call it. Um, we love it. My wife really loves it, too. Um, I greatly appreciate it, and uh, I guess I'm going to have to get back to work, y'all. <laughs> Check y'all out later.